Let's talk about trading cards. I love a little Yu-Gi-Oh, a little magic, maybe even a little Pokemon. I even like the games that are grade A hole repellent like Weiss. It'll scare any woman in a 25 mile radius, guaranteed. However, in terms of host scaring potential, I think there's some things that rank higher on the Maslow's hierarchy of scaring bitches. At the top of this list are two undisputed kings, NFTs and schizophrenia wearing the thin veneer of right-wing populism. Well, what if I told you there's something that can combine all three? A couple weeks ago, Trump launched the second wave of his NFT trading cards. Let's take a look. So how this works is that you pay $99 and you get emailed your newly minted trading cards, which have like assigned rarities, like super rare, ultra rare if you play Yu-Gi-Oh. Some are one ones some are rare, but even the equivalent of commons will never be made more than 10 times. So let's take a gander at some of these cards. A lot of them just seem to be pretty boring. I mean, it's just like Trump standing and maybe doing like the fist salute, you know, his jerking off God gesture, you know, his signature emote. <laughs> maybe like a hat or sunglasses if you're lucky and maybe a different background. You know, I'm guessing these are like the equivalent of their common pack fillers. They're actually selling for around like 0.11 ETH, give or take, which at the time of the recording is like $239. I mean, that's actually not a bad return on investment, I guess. You know, I'm not sure how much fees and shit there are, but like a couple of these sold for 0.12 ETH. So there's money to be had here, I guess. I mean, considering they're, only, they're you know, $99. <laughs> I almost said oh, only $99. Yikes. You know, the real bangers here, though, are like the one of ones. You know, you got Grillin Trump, you got the Hunter Trump, you got the George Washington Trump. I mean, not gonna lie, some of these go kind of hard. If you were like a super MAGA guy, I mean, you probably did a little soy face when you opened these. So let's talk about a few of my personal favorites. I mean, the King of Heart Trump, I mean, undefeated. Never in my life would I imagine Trump doing the little heart gesture with his hands. I mean, I forgive him for January 6th now. <laughs> Another one that goes bonkers is the line with the crown. I mean, just great A symbolism. You know, if you're a Trump head, if you know all, all his albums, like even the early ones, I mean, you were setting this as your phone lock screen. I mean, you were you were going hard on this one. Honestly, I can't really pick a favorite, so here's my top three in no order. Number three, we got the chest Trump. I mean, my man is balling out. Gold plated, got the holy American emperor Trump crown with the T's on it. Foo is dripped out. Someone wipe this man down. He even got like the mighty American regalia with the American flag. I mean, this just goes hard. Number two is the Jewish Trump, paying respects to the Western Wall of Jerusalem. I mean, just look at this man. He's saying the Shema, he knows Psalm 23 and 121. Are you rocking with Israel? <laughs> this man is. This is like the fifth most expensive one of these trading cards too. It's currently listed for $100,000, which it's just insane. Doubt it's gonna sell for that, but like, it previously sold for 26,000, so you know, what the fuck do I know? The final one of my favorites is this one. I don't know if anyone has opened it because I can't seem to find it listed, but honestly, if I open this, I would just keep it forever. I mean, this dish just rocks. I want this to be hoisted on a flag at every Trump rally. You know, DeSantis would die of fear during debates if he saw this. I mean, it's just straight fire. At the end here, I, I just want to talk about the website itself and just like the whole business. I mean, this is just one of the most like insane website designs I've ever seen. It looks like it was literally ripped straight from an early 2000s BPD scene girlies like MySpace page. I mean, just look at, just look at this. At the top of the page, you have this like weird scrolling bar of merch selling all sorts of things like mugs and shirts with like prints of like the one of one cards. Like, you can get a blanket with the superhero Trump for $99, which is the same price as the card. Uh, except like this is obviously more valuable since you, you know, you actually get something you can use and it just like isn't random. What's crazy is like the scrolling bar, like it follows you out through, it follows you like throughout the entire page, even if you scroll down, just constantly inflicting you with psychic damage while you, I guess you peruse this amazing website. You know, my favorite being this guy wearing this like obviously Photoshop blanket on his back. I mean, what, what's, what's, what's up with this? Like what's with political freaks wearing like flags and blankets on their backs like capes? No normal person does this. Another fun thing to know is this offer of buying 47 trading cards to have dinner with Trump. I mean, that's like $4,600. In the promo, it says this will sell out, and I, I don't doubt it, honestly. He, he's, he's got some freaks. Also noteworthy is that if you buy 100 cards using crypto, you get like the previous offer and 100 cards, which is something. Like, are they hoping the Ethereum you use to pay like goes up? Or is there like a loophole where they don't have to pay as much of taxes if you pay with crypto? You know, if anything. I just need to know that like they have a counter of how many are left for this one, which is 21, but... The cards are sold out, so I guess, you know, they didn't sell out as, of this one. You know, I, I doubt a bunch of old people know how to use crypto. I don't know. One last thing at the end here is that I've noticed they take a 10% commission for any sale of their cards, which makes sense, honestly. You know, this is just like a bag getting operation. You know, what's crazy to me is that how quickly and how, how they just sold out, like immediately. Just 
an absolute insane baguette in operation. I'm jealous. I wish I wish I was able to do this. I mean, honestly, DeSantis could never do this. I mean, does he even have like a single real fan that like doesn't work for some weird think tank think tank or something? Anyways, I just thought this was interesting and thought I'd share. Have a good one.